Okay, so 3,000 miles. 3,000 miles. Yeah. Three concerts. Three yeah. master classes. Yeah. I don't know how many states. Yeah, yeah, too many states. We have to too cross a lot many of states. states. Yeah. And then finishing the recording an album, mm -hmm. performance videos, mm -hmm. a morning of radio interviews. Mm -hmm. Quite a tour. Yeah. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Okay, so how did you find how did you find the first concert at Austin P State University? Oh man, that was lovely. It was it was fun to kind of get back into it. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. um, because we actually hadn't played Pale Blue Dot ever. The piece, Pale yeah. Blue Dot. Yeah, we never premiered it. Yeah. So We've we recorded, recorded it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we rehearsed it right before the yeah. concert. But but yeah. actually our, so the world premiere of, of Pale Blue Dot happened at Austin yeah. Peay State University, which was a real joy. I mean, like, really, really thrilling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, kind of a little nervy, you know, <laughs> to do it uh, yeah. for the first time. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we've never, we, you know, we, we didn't really road test it. No, no, no. You, you can't road yeah. test it until, uh, until you premiere it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was lovely. How was it for you? It was good. I liked it. Um, I thought Stan Yates does an amazing job. Yeah, for sure. There, you know, yeah. uh, just the hall is really nice. The public are really friendly. Yes. And also we had like other people helping us with putting things together. Um, student of mine, Lorena, who was just amazing at like making everybody so welcome and yeah. just, you know, the students were so relaxed. The students are really well taught. Yep. They've got a really interesting repertoire. Mm -hmm. Like amazing repertoire. Um, Really contemporary stuff. I mean, even even a couple of pieces that I had never heard before. You know, Sardinian. Yeah. Contemporary classical guitar music. It was just amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, so it was obviously like a really good atmosphere for the students to be exposed to different new repertoire or yeah. repertoire that's not the normal traditional classical guitar canon. Mm -hmm. um, and the gig, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the gig. I thought, you know what you mean about the sort of like trepidation of playing a piece for the first time, yeah. Even though you've already recorded it, but uh, no, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. And it was that was kind. Of, no, that was Tennessee. That's Tennessee. That's Tennessee. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And then Kentucky came. Kentucky came Kentucky, next. Kentucky. Yeah. Kentucky. Bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I tried some great bourbon. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Thanks to Stephen Mattingly. Yeah. Host with the must, yeah, yep. and and Nikita, absolutely. Um, my funniest bit of that was probably probably you uh, holding down the goats while they were milked. <laughs> That's got to be a tour highlight. <laughs> um, you know, absolutely yeah. nothing to do with the guitar. Probably yep. the worst guitar concert preparation in terms of nails and fingers and hands. I, I don't know. I've had worse. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I what else? So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but on but on uh, uh, Stephen and Nikita's farm, there's uh, uh, they were going through some some births of baby goats. Yeah, like a big and, day, uh, a big day. Yeah. It's like labor watch. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so we were asked to we were our help was enlisted. Yeah, uh, nice. and uh, and so I did a little bit of of uh, yeah. uh, well. I wouldn't say I milked a goat so much as I helped with yeah, the process. Yeah, helped with the process. Yeah, and you were very encouraging from your camera, I, I from was, behind I your camera. I was more than yeah. happy to, to document the process and be involved in some of the directorial um, issues. Yeah, know? yeah. Um, Couldn't have done it without you. Just a little bit hands off, like I'm a detached director. I'm not there, yeah. you know, uh, getting up all in and amongst it. I'm, I'm sort of, you know, from afar. Hitchcockian. Yeah. Um, as well. yeah. Leaning over the fence <laughs> from the adjacent field, you know, in another farm, yeah. which is a hotel. <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. It, it, it was like some of the best hospitality. I think yeah. um, almost on, 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 the, on the tour, it was just so spectacular. And then, so Steve, um, we were doing a concert not in the University of Louisville, where right. he teaches, but across the street from the University of Louisville. In uh, in the, the the Rouch Planetarium, yeah, yeah, which was just amazing. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. So uh, there were there was all this uh, footage 
uh, from the Hubble telescope. Yeah, yeah. And, and, all these and NASA all the images. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. It was going on kind of behind us. That was a problem. Um, like, it was the coolest thing ever, but we couldn't see it. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> we were looking at the music and we're looking at the right. guitar. Meanwhile, all this celestial spectacularness, gorgeousness, is taking yeah. place above our heads. Yeah. Uh, but we saw some clips later on from some of the audience and stuff. Yeah. Um, but that was really nice. That was that was great. Great audience, like very quiet. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. You're in a planetarium, and it, and it's a very different experience. Yeah, you know, absolutely. performing um, uh, that music. And so, I think from a viewer standpoint, I, I, I'd actually like to see a little bit more footage to sort of see what it, yeah. it, it yeah. I think what it felt like uh, to perform in the environment and what it felt like to watch that there might have been a pretty big chasm uh, uh, there you know, well, you know it must have been interesting for the audience because they must have felt like they were in the cinema mm -hmm. so it, it was like comfy seats comfy seats <laughs> looking straight up at the sky yeah. we are kind of like the piano player for the silent movie or yeah like yeah, that, yeah totally know, like chaplain-esque kind of thing although it's not a comedy movie but like it, it, we were providing a very different purpose yep. you know mm -hmm. um so it was very different to the other concerts, which were like, okay, stop and applaud, yeah. you know, um, yeah. in between pieces. It was, it was, I mean, of course, there was applause. <laughs> the, the, the egos weren't dented, you know, that much. But um, yeah. it was a different, it was a completely different atmosphere. Like, yeah. There was an intensity to the listening that was different. For sure. Know, which was really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. Yeah. And big thanks also to Henry Davidson for, oh, yeah. uh, for for kicking in a whole bunch of support yeah. uh, for that uh, for, for, for that show. So yeah. thank you, uh, uh, Henry, for, for being uh, present and being an amazing host as you well. You know, all the way through this, we have met such interesting people yeah. in every place. Mm -hmm. I mean, even taking a back step back to uh, Clarksville, like mm -hmm. Alan Mears. Yeah, you know, great guitar player. Uh, a great guitar player. Yeah. Yeah. You know, guy from from Ireland, from Belfast, um, who was just like there and part. I mean, he'd obviously been a student of stands back in the day. Yeah. But like, just offering so much to the student body there and part of the guitar community. Yeah. And also hilarious to have you yeah. as well. You know, and then yeah, like Henry Davidson, and then you know, Steve has such a good bunch of students and great and, players. And master yeah, class is incredible. Yeah. Also, really unique. Um, yeah. uh, pieces that were being that were being played. A lot of chamber music as well. Yeah, guitar yeah. quartet, yeah. guitar yeah. Heard, uh, Camara, uh, quartet. Yeah. That was very good. Uh, they sound awesome and uh, terrific duo. It sounded nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, it was really nice. Really cool. And then where did we go? Oh, then we went upstate New York. Yeah, then we went to yeah. Scandi Analyst where they have a library series. Oh, that was so um, much fun. That was great. Yeah, that's a wow. That's a cool audience. A cool environment. Yeah. Yeah. The library, I, 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 I don't know uh, if the series will continue in the library or oh, if, it, if the series is going to move. Full, yeah. yeah, it's really yeah. full, and uh, so I think they may need to extend out a little bit, but the room was amazing. The room's and, lovely. I mean, yeah. like for a library, it's basically a concert room, yeah. you know, with exactly. a stage, got a beautiful grand piano there. They've got mm -hmm. all, the, all the, the, the things that you need for a salon yeah. style performance, but they've also yeah. got... They've also got a really educated audience yeah. about art, yeah. culture, classical music. I mean, after that concert, I was struck by the amount of information mm -hmm. that we were being given. Yeah, yeah, for sure. From the audience about other players and performers who'd come through Scanny Atlas because it has a big so, festival. Like Hilary Hahn had been there, like yep. all these great people had been there. And they're really tuned in, their ears tuned in yep. to high-end classical music but also jazz and it was interesting because our program is full of crossover kind of things you know mm -hmm. Jake Korea, Ralph Towner, Pat Mazzini you know your music is definitely not in a sort of traditional classical right. idiom it's borrowing from all these different styles as well mm -hmm. and that was, there was a couple of people after the concert that were just immediately latching on to this kind of yeah. style of concert that was Maybe a little bit free from the traditions of, Maybe. you know, strict classical music concert halls. Could you know, be. They were fun. Yeah. Really responsive. Yeah. Like audience, yeah. You know. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful group of people. James Horn, great, uh, uh, yeah. great host there. Yeah. Uh, Ken Meyer. Ken Meyer. Yeah, yeah I met Ken. That was lovely. Yeah. yeah, I just met so many nice people there. And also, yeah. the crazy thing about that was, there was like two feet of snow. <laughs> so we'd gone from like 
It's like seven. Clarksville, yeah. which was beautiful. Like you know, I mean, we're we're constantly uh, converting things like electricity, yeah. um, temperature, uh, everything, yeah. uh, measurements of all, all kinds. Um, but it was like 25, 23, 24 degrees, like um, Celsius for me in Clarksville, and then it was minus five or yeah. something like that in, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in Scaniatalis, and it was, you know, we were covered in snow, we were, we were getting snow warnings and alerts yeah. and stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, but that's a that's a robust crowd. They're not they're not scared by a little yeah, snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know what they're doing. Yeah. And then the only place open after the gig in this town <laughs> was like the rock bar. Yeah. It was like this band playing who like covered everything from basically the late seventies through to like the yeah. two thousands. Yeah. So the music got depressingly worse as we approached <laughs> like you know the, you know the early two thousands. Um, but like they just had a crack at absolutely everything. Yeah, the, 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 no, band, no, no limitations. Yeah, it was no limitations. basically like top forty from every era. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the only place open though. So <laughs> yeah, it was so like, it was... like, if you want a beer and some food, you know, go and listen to the um, the, the rock band. It was great. It was brilliant. Um, so yeah, from Skinny Atlas, then we went to Baltimore. Yeah. Um, to Peabody. Yep. To teach a class. Um, which was really, really lovely. Yeah. Uh, it was just such a nice, I mean, we were talking about it, I'd been to Peabody just kind of before the pandemic, I think, okay. to do one of their guitar intensives or something like that, play a concert, Tom and I shared a gig that day, actually. Right. And then you were saying like, the last time I was here was, well, I think when I auditioned. Yeah, <laughs> it would have been 1995. Oh, it's yeah. so cool. Uh, and uh, so, nice. yeah, uh, students of uh, Tom and Vilato, uh, of, uh, Mama Waco. Yeah, yeah. Um, Julian. Julian Gray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So really yeah. lovely to hear all of their students. Um, what a mix of in, people. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people from each studio. Mm -hmm. Undergrads, um, yeah. grad students. Yeah. Lovely. More, great players. More traditional take on repertoire, uh -huh. I would say. Like, yep. you know, um, which was which was great as well because we'd sort of been listening to a lot of very contemporary stuff. Yeah. Um, in Louisville. Clarksville, and then of course in Baltimore we got like a little bit more of that, you know, Jose, Carulli, Jose, yeah, Carulli, yeah, Jose Sonata, yeah, yeah, uh, Usher Walls, no, no, yeah. no, there wasn't DS, there was, yeah, you, uh, yeah, Koshkin, right, Koshkin, yeah, and stuff like, what was the other thing that I was, I had, oh yeah, the, the Rudnev day under the, the old lime tree oh, stuff, yeah. you know, I had really, that really cool, yeah, 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 so uh -huh. really quite traditional stuff yeah. there, yeah, like, but, but great, great yep. for you, great wonderful, for you. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then two days drive back after, which yeah. I don't know. That's 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 about when we, when we didn't have a concert, or we didn't have any teaching to do, and yeah. we were just driving back. That's yeah. kind of when the, the trip got a little long for me. Man, that's a long, um, that's a long time. Three thousand miles in that car. It's yeah. like road tours. Man. Yeah. Road tours. Yeah. I mean, I like them. You know. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I like them. Yeah. But yeah. we did learn a few things. Yeah. You know. Like yeah, yeah, about yeah. The way we like to. Like we're not twenty-five. <laughs> We learn that every <laughs> single day. Like I quite like comfort on the road. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, it's not about um, going out <laughs> doing a gig, being out in the bar until three o'clock in the morning and getting up and doing it again. It's about... Um, I can't believe we ever did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm understanding now consistency of pillows. That's a very... Pillows make a big difference, it's, don't they? You know, just like two, yeah, two a, old men a sitting A crick in, in the car. neck can last days. <laughs> That's the nightmare. Can really... <laughs> <laughs> it's also road, the road food stuff as well. Yeah, right? road food's yeah. rough. Yeah. Oh, man. Man. Yeah. Vegetables, you know. Yeah, when we came back to, <laughs> when we came back yeah. to Traverse City, that was our, our mission, was yeah. to eat vegetables. Immediately. Yeah. And lots yeah. of them. Yeah. Which I think, you know, mission accomplished. I think we did well. Yeah. We did well. So yeah. I just think we've been through so many different seasons. It's like yeah. snow, rain, beautiful sunshine. Actually, in Traverse City today, it's like it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's, gorgeous. it's uh, 40 degrees from the uh, the car dashboard <laughs> and um, sunny. And yeah, we, we haven't had any kind of... We haven't had any kind of winter so far, no, um, so. but uh, notice, notice the last little part of that clause, which is pretty important, yeah, uh, yeah, because boy, sure. April's coming, so it's snow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it's, I suppose sometimes it happens in Scotland, you get snow like after the spring has sprung, you then no. get this cold snap, Yeah, and then it sort of wrecks all the things that were 
you know, <laughs> right. starting to bloom. Right. Um, but yeah, so here we are. So we're pulling up actually. Yeah. Right yep. now, we're pulling up to the barn. Mm -hmm. um, and this is our last day of recording in the barn, but we're not actually recording any new notes. We are doing two performance videos for two of the singles from the Pale Blue Dot album. Right. Yep. So we're doing uh, Spain, Spain, Fit Korea, and the 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 hit, the beast, Inter Interstellar. Interstellar, the sweet for two guitars, one of which yep. has ten strings. And actually, we've never filmed anything. You know, we've yeah. filmed Bach concertos here, we've filmed Towner, we've filmed mm -hmm. Maxwell Davis, all sorts of stuff in this place. But we haven't ever filmed any of the ten string stuff. Yeah, that's true. So that's going to be fun uh, today. And then there'll be two performance videos of the full pieces, the full Spain Chick Corea arrangement, the full suite um, of Hans Zimmer. And we will release them in the next couple of months. Yep. Um, you know, probably even, you know, before that, we'll stagger the releases in the run up to the full length album release of Pale Blue Dot. Man, Can't that's exciting. Wait. Cannot wait. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So one more day of hard work here. One more day of hard work, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be terrific. Oh, and then we get to spend the day with Kate Patello over nah, at uh, Interlocking nice. Public Radio. Yeah, yeah, so uh, so yeah yeah. It's this is a fifteen day trip for you, right? Yeah, yeah I, I, need travel. Travel. I need to get home. I need to get home. We'll get you home. Know, people have changed the locks. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, um, I think like yeah, it's time. It's time. But yeah. we've got yeah. another. Another day and a half of, of yeah. graft ahead of us. Yes, indeed. You know? yep. All right. Okay. It's been a pleasure to share a car with you for three thousand miles. <laughs> same, I mean? same to you. If my anything friend. was ever going to test a dual True. relationship, this was the moment. You yep. Know? And yep. We survived. We survived. I Excellent. think we thrived. Excellent. All right. Thank you for staying with us. Yeah. For being at all the concerts, for sending us emails, for commenting on all the things that we do, we really appreciate it. It's. Yeah. Uh, gives us the uh, enthusiasm and energy to keep producing good music. So we'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye for now.